Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And we're going to be taking a look at some full cams from the third episode of the second season of Street Dance Girl Fighter. This is the interim portion where they are competing for the joint performance spot. That means they get an extra 100 points for their final score. And it is between La Chica and 1 million. So we're going to be looking at them in the order that I just stated. I've already seen this during the initial reaction, but I did not really give a lot of feedback for it because they cut it so much. So I'm really excited that we have a full cam because I can really look at it, analyze it, and see if I would validate and confirm my own personal thoughts, even though I already know the results. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Can't on the eight bad, but he's too deep to go back. So I don't even understand why he's running red gens. I need to even let him like that. Nice. Let me go ahead and look at one millions while we're here. He ain't on the eight bad, but he's too deep to go back. So I don't even understand why he's running red gens. I need to even nothing like that. Bad, that, bad, that, bad. He ain't on the eight that, bad, that, bad, that, bad. Don't even understand that, that, bad, bad, that, bad, that, bad. He ain't on the eight that, bad, that, bad, that, bad. Don't even understand bad. Flashback. Okay, so actually by watching the full cams, it makes me think, uh, I understand why one mil took it, but remember, it was like less than a five point discrepancy between these two groups. Let's talk about it. Going back to Lachika, I originally in the episode reaction, my vote went to Lachika because of their formations and their creative choices. And I still very much like that. And I think that is what made this so competitive. Because when you look at this, I love how they dripped it down. That is definitely reminds me of Hottie Moo from whenever she did it for that popping that quip for a click like, you know, that part um, from a street woman fighter. Having them bleed out into this moment, da 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 da, blah, very nice surprise moment with the formation, great usage of the levels, transition, da 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 da, da which is nice, bleed it through, da 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 da, da bum bum, and having that little uh, extra vibration or rebound that took place there before they reset it back up, still in your levels. This was so nice having a nice a Vogue element. Really feels, I feel like I understand the essence of this, that part of that doom, doom, like the hollowness of that bass in this particular part of the track. They represented it really, really well. That kick was really nice, that little da 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 da, great transition here. But I will say that some of their movement does cut off just a smidgen or it feels like we they committed to it or but it wasn't like a hundred percent on the range that it needed to be to make it match the type of sound they were trying to hit this was nice having this drip down down but not everybody was framed as cleanly you know so i would say that you of course we have these are our mirrors here right and then they're mirroring each other and then they're mirroring each other and then you have your center really like the connection it looks like there's a connection made here but these two notice that she's a little bit further in front uh, also how they're coming up and into the movement a little bit off and so even though we can see the gist of their intention they don't look as clean or as proficient as one million does as a group and that could be the slight what gave them a slight edge do i think choreographically this had a not a lot of really nice styles represented yes could that have put it in a vacuum however where it doesn't feel like it was allowing other styles to be represented from the first two tracks into this potentially but I will say, though, I really liked the choice so much so that it, I gave them my vote originally, you know, and I think that 
moving on from here, having that pull, that transition, that pullback was really nice. Having the energy, this is another example. A lot of their extremity movements are not as clean and clear as they need to be. That pull, I understand what they were trying to do there, but it wasn't as clean. Seeing it from the full cam, they made it more of a moment on the camera. So it was nice. I love that energy explosion on the sides, explosion from the top, and then having her in the middle, framing really well with those that were next to her. Having one of them twist to have one of them come up, that was a great choice. You know, having them down on the floor, I wish we could be doing a little bit more than just kind of standing in a crab walk position where they bleed through, but they appear to be trying to do something that's very similar to each other, but it was just slightly off. Yeah, like they're one really committed and then one of them kind of went in between position to switch and then having everybody pop up in the center, that dip and dip was nice and the branch out there and then having them start it and then bleed it all the way around in the formation was super fun. I love that choice, but notice that most people connected in a very similar way and you have only this one outlier over here here. I think that it needed to be either all of them committed in a very similar way, uh, meaning that they all are very, very connected, like what we're seeing in the later half of the peel out, or everybody making these really sharp, you know, stag staggered uh, angles with their, with their, um, with the peel out. Having the moment there, that was really nice, having that bleed all the way through, pulling it up, and how they finish. I like this moment, but notice some of them are here, but most of them are here. But even then, some of them are looking up, some are really capturing the full face. My hand's are really small, so I could get away with this. <laughs> some people will have to cover the full hand. I would probably low-key bust my nose open. If I like really committed that way, I would have busted it. So it's actually very impressive they're able to do that with no one getting a nosebleed after <laughs> because it actually hurt my nose just a little bit just doing what I did. But all in all, very, very strong. And it makes sense why it was such a close call. Now looking back at one millions, very clean at the start. They're all, I call this like equally yoked. And that I think is what gave them a slight edge. Their formations, however, were definitely more on the underwhelming side. They felt more repetitive, especially the one where it has your leader in the middle. And then she does a little add on or she does like a breakaway with those that are on the outside of her. That's something they already did in the interim for the K-pop little challenge thing before they got to select their teams and that's and that's why I think it was just so close uh, it's just it's just a repeated formation dynamic choice that I feel like you know could have they could have made a different choice there and that was like da, 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 back and that was nice very very clean that's what really helped this now this right here I felt like that could have been bigger but because of how fast they were making it it makes sense why it was it was more a uh, little smaller, but it doesn't take away the fact maybe they could have gone with a different movement there to make it feel more full, you know, more like a throwing motion versus something very stiff and using the ribs to have to make that work. But the energy is really full, Ta -da! right there, bleeding it over into the next formation, having her in the front, two, three, that was fun, bah, da, 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 da. so the attack is there, but there's that hollow base like what I mentioned before, it felt very tasteful with the style represented from La Chica, so I preferred that, but I like the cleanliness and the attack of this one. So both did well. Um, that was fun too, back, 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 very clean peel out, but definitely more predictable. Digging through, that was fun, da 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 and a, and a drop, and then having them bleed out to the side, which is fun. Yeah, so. But notice here, we're not seeing a ton of level change or drastic level change. We see subtle ones, but we don't see like an obvious high and an obvious low or like three tier formations, like what we saw more creatively from Lachika. And that's what I really appreciated more of is there were more creative risks with them. But there, it's this, there's like this extra level of uh, griminess that works with this. And it, I feel like both crews would do a good job on this joint choreography. And what, and that's the note we run to. I think I made this note too that I'm going to go ahead and make here. With one million, I said if one million got one, because I know that one million ended up winning, but before I learned the points, um, I stated that the judges or the mentors would vote for one million if 
if you're looking at how you can replicate or mesh the composition to multiple groups. Because with Logicas, it looks great with just them. Here, this would look great with a lot of people. Do you know what I mean? I feel like there needs to be more creative risks, but I feel like, honestly, it was a smart call to go with 1 million because they have that experience. They, some of them have that, that experience from being on the show that they're able to placate in here, especially with our leader. Um, not only that, they're able to glean, I hope that they glean some of the formation creative choices that Lachika had and put them in so we can still see Lachika shine too. Um, but we do know that one million takes it. The attack's really nice. That was the section I was talking about, having her do have her moment, even though the content was different, the dynamic was the same. With her in the center. That was fun. Really great attack as they go from the outside, bringing it towards the inside. That was cool too. Boom. Notice how she added that extra reverb vibration going back in. So it's nice that she brought it out and then she brought it back in. Cool. Liked this where they slowly go in, but there is a baby uh, discrepancy with that hand. That was cool. Dune and boom. So it was nice to have go from two people and then bringing and adding in two more to make it more full. And you still have a drastic layer dynamics, which I really like. That was cool moment. Boom and boom. So that was fun. I do feel like we could have made that more legato or a more interesting way to transition back to back. But I really like that. It was a cool choice. Coming up from a bridge recover. That was fun. Da -da 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 and they tilted down to the side. Really great framing. I think if they added more, I think the levels would look a lot nicer here though. It's right here. Boom, doom, 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 doom. I feel like we've seen that already before, but it looks very closed off. Like this section right here. Boom. I really feel like that needs to be way bigger and there's way more of a hinge that needs to be represented. But, <coughs> excuse me, it <coughs> goes back to the original point of you see though that because of the speed and the BPM of it, sometimes they ended up compromising the the full range of the move that you would normally see it executed in. Uh, they, they made it a little bit shorter where they chopped it up a little bit more for the sake of adding it in. For me, I think you just run that risk of it may come across a little bit too choppy when it needs to be a little bit more full. But it really just depends on preference on that, I think, um, because they're not technically doing it wrong. It's just not, it doesn't feel as full or as fulfilling to the track as it could be. <laughs> that back and then they finished up at the top so do i understand why one million took it yes did i vote for them initially no uh but i did say that there was a huge chance that they would get it and i did state one of the reasons being theirs is going to be easier to add people to compared to lachika so if you're thinking it with that in mind there is that um but also we've seen in the past i think it was with proudmon i think it was with proudmon that uh, you had, I think she gave the interim joint part to Idea and set a brand new child because I think, I, th I hope I'm right, it'd be really bad if I was off and I make this whole point off of something that was wrong because Idea had more creative formation choices, but brand new child knew how to work with numbers. So actually, you know what? It wasn't even that. You know what it was? I think Proud Mom picked Brand New Child because they knew how to work with large numbers, but she told them to add in a lot of what ideas ideas were. I think that's what happened, and that's maybe where I'm getting this idea myself from. One million has the proficiency to be able to make a really good joint performance, but they need more creativity that I think Lachika can help fulfill. I think that's what it is. But the difference is there's a 100 point difference here, right, in their scoring. So I would hope that um, probably, I mean, I have a feeling like, honestly, I'm a bit intrigued at how they're going to do the points on this. I know they're going up against someone, but I would hope that if their video did really well, that both of them would survive, even if there was a 100 point difference, right? Uh, or unless it's a, you know, Regardless, you got three people up for elimination. I don't, I don't know. You know, I, I think we're going to learn the scoring system of this uh, next week because we're going to see the rest of the groups go because we have two more in terms to look at and then we're going to look at all of them unmasked too. So I know that's all happening next episode, uh, but I am still very much intrigued at how 
how the scoring of this is going to go because it's already so different from what we had seen from the first season. But both were great. I liked watching them. And this was definitely, both of them, I saw a significant improvement in this in comparison to uh, what we saw from their previous interim grouping that they did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I was helpful in some way. If you want to see my initial reaction to these, uh, to these routines, as well as any of my full episode opinions about the full episode, I have all of that on Patreon. I do my best, however, to get excerpts out on YouTube in a timely manner based on the release of the episode for the show. But I also made a decision for this season in particular to wait until the English subtitles came out and I wouldn't release any excerpts until I, I watched the episode. And then I would go back and actually talk through and analyze it. But I also know it may just depend on what kind of content is released for the week. Because just like they've changed so many criteria, I really want to avoid going in looking at a routine, not really knowing what is supposed to be looked at. Because I don't think my feedback is going to be as effective in comparison to me really understanding what we're looking at, seeing what is up for grabs, what the advantages are, you know, those types of things. So I feel like I would be more helpful uh, on the analytical side by knowing the criteria a little bit more mm, proficiently instead of just going in cold. So I do, do forgive me if you're one who really likes watching these on YouTube, but I tend to be a day or two later than you may would have liked. That's why is I'm doing a full episode reaction and I want to make sure I, I tend an appropriate amount of time into doing that. Uh, but thank you guys again for watching. I am Jess and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.